Hello, my name is Mordred Viking, and I'd like to welcome you to this stream of Hearts of Iron 4, where we are playing Kaiserreich, which has now had an update. So this is now 0.6.1, it was a hotfix, and it has apparently fixed all the issues that they were having with Steam. So we should be able to play with the most modern version of the game, uh, which means it's fully compatible with vanilla, so we have all of the air changes. The thing that they have not fixed is the performance. So they believe that this is running about 50% slower than it ought to. But I'm going to say it's good enough. We're just going to do everything as it's supposed to be. Up to date with everything. And we're just going to jump in. And hopefully when they release the next um, update. Uh, that will fix us to the uh, performance issues. And fingers crossed it's going to be uh, save compatible. If we need it to be. Because nothing bad happened last time. Anyway. Um. Last time I kind of skipped through this bit, but I thought I'd show you it at first, because they have definitely updated the, updated the leader portraits. They're looking phenomenal. Look, just look at Wilhelm here. I mean, that that is a good portrait. They have they seem to have, like, upped the quality and just, like, improved, like, the, the, sh the, uh, the shading and the shadows and stuff like that. It's made a huge difference. Like, these are looking really, really cool. Um, so we are going to be playing once again as the Prussia of the Balkans. We're going to be playing as Bulgaria. Even though I was kind of thinking about this afterwards, like, what actually makes them so good? I mean, they keep on hyping themselves up, saying, yeah, we're the Prussia, the Balkans, we're the army, with the state. I didn't think their army was that great. I've got to be honest. Uh, but we are going to be playing as them. We're going to be doing on veteran. I'm going to leave all of this stuff normal because we don't want to screw up civil wars. And this should be fine, hopefully, because I've alt-tabbed a few times, it won't crash. And while that's loading, time for some tea. So I am looking forward to this. So this, like I said, has got all of the uh, changes and the updates. Uh, so land-based anti-air actually does something. Uh, anti-air in divisions actually do something. Uh, heavy fighters are significantly stronger than they used to be. Strategic bombers are significantly weaker than they used to be. So just air power in general has had pretty major overhaul in its balance. So yeah, I'm looking forward to this. This should be interesting. Don't know for sure how much I'll be using with uh, air power, but we'll see. That That's going to be more of a uh, Sardinia thing, I think. Fun fact, Bulgarians didn't lose any battles in World War One. Supposedly they were absolute beasts in the first World War. I ran out of manpower. Uh, no, I didn't. I did do the mobilization to the next level. Um, but yeah. Okay, so thank you Kaiserreich. I want to know everything. Why is my game running so slow? Uh, running too slow for you, then any options to roll back? I have a lot of CPU. I have a lot of memory. I'm just going to double check that there is nothing hogging it in the background. You know what? Just to help this out and see if that makes a difference, I'm going to be closing all non-essential tabs, of which there are many. I'll close you. Close you. I'll do that last. Close you. And you. And then finally, you. I'll leave Photoshop open because that's a pain to restart. Okay, so we have just about half of my memory total available for this. We're only using about 40% CPU. So we should be good. We should be good. Okay, um, just shut down my PC and Kaiserreich is being updated. Yeah, the update was released like recently. Do I like this Italy or do I prefer the old one? Don't know yet. Too early to say. Um, so we're going to to throw you guys into an army we're going to start training you we're going to start building some stuff now the one thing <coughs> which i did screw up last time wow frog in the throat is i was trying to build infrastructure in two places i shouldn't have been doing that i should have been doing it in just one now ploven actually has the most to upgrade so we're going to fully upgrade ploven and then we're going to do um Civilian factories there. Or maybe military. You know what? We'll probably do military. Because we get into a war early. Then we can choose research. Which is going to be the usual standard opener. <coughs> wow, I really have a frog in my throat. That's annoying. And then the, the big change from last time is I'm going to focus mountaineers early. I'm going to take this whole 
army with a state to heart. And we're going to get the most elite troops that we possibly can. So we're going to be getting the mountain infantry out early. There are a couple of reasons for that. One, we're in a really mountainous area. Loads of hills and mountains and things like that. Except for the uh, border with Romania, which I'll probably have like just regular troops there. I thought I could use marines, I guess. Nah, mountaineers. And the second one is they are smaller units. So you can have smaller units that are still equally strong and just have them spread out over like a larger area. Uh, the other thing which I might try and um, experiment with is possibly putting like a mountaineer unit in with other units. Oh yeah, we got that update so we can see what the people actually look like. So we might do something like, imagine the militia as a mountaineer, we might do something like this. Uh, so we have the mountaineer just to give that extra bit of oomph, uh, but then regular infantry is kind of the, the main battle line. Haven't quite decided yet, that will depend on when I actually get the mountaineers researched. Uh, let's go and change your symbol to be the explosion, so I can actually see who's the explosions. Cool. And then we have one ship who's going to be a convoy. I don't think I want any interwar bombers. I might actually try and build some fighters this time, though. Will I? We had too much artillery last time, I remember that. You know what? Yes, I'm going to try and get some fighters out. Huzzah! Espadkins, thank you very much for the subscription. I appreciate that. Thank you very, very much, and welcome to the Maudlings, buddy. Cheers. And if people in chat want to show their appreciation, I'd very much appreciate that. Myself, that would be awesome. Thank you, Aristide. <laughs> Uh, cool. Did they fix the performance? No. So, they, there was a big warning at the start saying, you are in the most modern, most recent version of the game. There are performance issues. Uh, we are going to see how bad they are. If they are really bad, then I will restart in 1.5.1. Uh, but we're going to try it on 2. Because I'm hoping it's going to be more compatible with future updates. If we survive that long. Right, then the other thing is the focus. So... Last time we started going down Desert the Power of the Tsar and all of this stuff. I think this is going to have to wait until after the war. Um, and I might actually just start working on the military things first. Because we, we, we need to. We definitely need to. Then the other question is whether we want to go agrarian or industrial. I might try industrial this time. Oh, there is a research lot over on this side. That's new. There did not used to be that. I'm fairly sure of it. Fairly. I'm not 100% sure. I'm fairly sure. Okay, cool. Good to know. Um, so, yes, we're going to go Bulgarian land forces, and then we'll see what happens from that point. I mean, we want the infantry equipment production cost early, if possible, and we also want the mountain infantry one early, if possible. So we're probably just going to charging straight down that line. So, Bulgarian land forces. Known as the Prussia of the Balkans, the Bulgarian land forces have been the pride and the backbone of the Bulgarian nation. We must ensure that they remain strong and continually bolster them as to maintain our hegemony over the Balkans. Is this a restart from the last one? Yes. Everyone said that side of the tree was objectively worse. Oh, the um, industrial one, you mean? You need to rush the army once for survival. Generally, I don't rate army techs. Like, the uh, bonuses to research time. Research time is so quick in this game anyway, I just don't ever really see the point. The ones which are permanent bonuses, for instance, this one, the plus 2.5% division organization, or the planning speed 25 though that one less so. Uh, those are the ones I go for. The infantry equipment production cost being 5% cheaper, that one I like. Like, the permanent bonuses I really rate. The one-off tech costs, not so much. Um, but there do seem to be a fair number of the, the the more potent ones here. So, here we go. Okay, yeah, that, that makes sense. Increase in stability, so we are at good stability. Good. Uh, we are the Tsardom of Bulgaria, following the end of the World Creek. Bulgaria had emerged victorious and had suddenly found herself in a golden age with the successful establishment of a Bulgarian hegemony over the Balkans. With the death of Prime Minister Vasil Radoslov in 1927, Alexander Malinov was able to take power. A known German phobe, Malinov and his close allies saw Germany as a threat, intent on taking Bulgaria little more than a, on making Bulgaria a little more than a pawn, and thus, during the whole hubris of their golden age, sought to drift away from Germany, which saw a cooling of relations between the two former allies. Now, Bulgaria has found herself in a precarious position with little to no allies in the Balkans. Despite remaining the dominant military power in the area, 
and an ailing economy which weakens Bulgarians' positions. <coughs> Damn this bloody frog. You know that feeling when you just have something stuck in your throat? So frustrating. And an ailing economy which weakens Bulgaria's position as her old enemy circle, like vultures, eagerly and hungrily awaiting the opportunity to reclaim their old technologies. What is the Bulgarian word for wrangle? Wrangle. <laughs> Very few research focus are worth the time, though Sardinia has one that gives times 50% research to Armatex. Sardinia gets crazy research buffs. It's weird. Well, Sardinia deserves them because it's Sardinia and it's awesome. True story. Okay, so we are now on speed five. Yeah, it's, quite, it's kind of noticeable how slow this is in comparison, but it's fine. We'll deal with it. Assassination of Kerensky. Cool. So hopefully we get one or two of the uh, infrastructures done. We'll see. I'd much rather march, in, march into battle with a thousand Bulgarian troops than the entire army from any other great power. The French Minister of War apparently said something like this around the First Balkan War. Fair enough. I mean, they have a couple of bonuses, like the well-trained officers is a good one. Uh, for the extra division organization, but I'd, I'd kind of expect a couple more than that. To, like, really get there, like, we are awesome. Also, you could also establish that through the companies. I mean, the plus 10 soft attack breakthrough isn't bad, but their military, like, their uh, support companies? Kind of crap. Their ones aren't terrible. Like, yeah, I don't know. I, I could have sworn that Bulgaria used to feel stronger. Hey, Atari. This is my laptop speed 5. Oh god, that's bad. Yeah, it's, it's about 50% slower than it should be. And they don't really know why. They are still investigating and apparently they're talking to Paradox about it. What does Army with the State Focus Truth? That is a good question. That that had better be amazing. Uh, replace expanding reserves and military with the state. Uh, adds more recruitable population. So it's not so much an elite army, it's a big army. Although the events might do something, I don't know. There's a research slot, at least. There you get some free guns, doctrines, military factories, mountain troops, recruitable population. Yeah, it really is all about the well-trained officers giving you the plus 2.5, but then I could have sworn that Austria has something which is even bigger. I don't know. It just feels weird. Like, always talking about how good the Bulgarian army is, it seems a bit lackluster. Garibaldi's nightmare, more like the KR team nightmare. I do feel sorry for you guys, I really do. It's only one Bulgarian in the army, the rest is enemy propaganda. I thought it was one Scottish Highlander. I could have sworn it was one Scottish Highlander. <laughs> and the rest is just propaganda. <laughs> was it you who said that in the um, Scotland game as well? Oh, that was a fun game. Going to war with France at last. Woohoo. <clears throat> Okay, so we have the Bulgarian land forces. I think we... I think we want to increase infantry equipment production and try and get down to mountain infantry as quickly as possible. A key component of maintaining the size of the Bulgarian land forces is the continual production of equipment. By upping the production of infantry equipment, we can ensure that every soldier will have a firearm. The Bulgarian land forces. Indeed, the Bulgarian land forces are the pride of Bulgaria, with many referring to our great nation as the Prussia of the Balkans, and a military with a state. Prussia has spent much of its has sent much of its able bodied men to fight in the Welsh Creek, where it was able to assert its military superiority, and had emerged dominant in the Balkans, yet, as a result, had incurred a, the penalty of high military pensions. It is clear that we must take to examining both the status and readiness of our army as our enemies, who surround us like eager vultures waiting to attack. We will be well, who? Uh, that is a long run on sentence. It is clear that we must take to examining both the status and readiness of our army as our enemies, who surround us as equal vultures waiting to attack, will be quick to pounce on any sort of mistake we might make. The institution of reforms must continue so that the Bulgarian land forces can forever maintain their dominance of the, uh, in the Balkans. So we're getting a lot of war support, which is nice. 
because that does give us uh, various bonuses, including the mobilization speed and also the division attack and defense, which is going to be huge. Electoral gridlock in France, okay. Different from last time where the totalists just took over straight away almost. Who is the leader of Romania? Cotero, I think. No. Yeah, Cotero. Is it possible to make Michael king of Romania? Yes. I believe so. I was just thinking, do I actually want to train all of these guys now? Because that will cost a lot of... No, I'm not going to train them. The reason for that is I might actually, like, remove some of these troops and switch them into mountaineers, which will require retraining. So I'm not going to train them just yet. Production efficiency cap, factory output reduction. That's fine. Has the Kingdom of Romania been given a focus tree? I don't know. Horrid news has reached us. Apparently the Berlin Stock Exchange, in what many consider as an extremely abrupt uh, turn of events, has plunged economically, sending the economy of the German Empire and the countries within its sphere on a downward spiral. Of course, these effects were not confined to the German sphere as Germany's trade partners, which includes many nations both in Europe and around the world, have also seen their economies tank. Bulgaria has not been left unscathed as we have also experienced... A uh, severe economic downturn. International observers and enemies alike are closely watching our nation, with many calling this the beginning of the end for the Bulgarian Golden Age. In any case, we must turn our gaze towards our ever-collapsing economy, lest we end up losing both the trust of the people and our dominance within the Balkans. What was it they fixed? They uh, basically fixed the Steam compatibility, so you could always have the most recent version up on... Uh, uh, up uploaded without many of the bugs running in the background and I've kind of taken the risk to up uh, update to the newest version of vanilla as well which pre previously they were suggesting you roll back I'm, I've not done that downfall instability oh no so this time we're playing with all of the uh, air force updates and things though the performance is fairly slow so the days are ticking over a little bit slowly but that's fine we can deal with it Travel Shamar declared war enlarged. Death of Pius. A pagan ritual by origin and one of the oldest continuing traditions in Europe, Baba Marta Day, which occurs annually on the 1st of March, is a holiday in which the Martinitsas are worn throughout the month of March and tells the story of Baba Marta, a sister wife of the great long-horned beetle and a small long-horned beetle. Due to her anger at being considered old by the shepherd, Barbara Marta became infuriated and let out snow, which led to the shepherd and her flock to freeze in the mountains. In order to celebrate this occasion, uh, festivities also occur on the 9th and the 25th of March, with people celebrating the coming of spring. And we have the Veterans Association Rally. The Bulgarian Veterans Association is an influential organisation in Bulgaria, consisting mostly of soldiers and officers of the Bulgarian forces of the World Creek. These men are largely renowned as heroes throughout Bulgaria. Their rally today in Sofia, consisting largely of patriotic displays, drew in a huge support from the populace. Who commands Russia? Still Kerensky. Like, we, we're a month, maybe two months in. And also, one of the things that they did say in the uh, hotfix update is that this version is more stable than the previous one. Um, so if you do roll back, then you will have stability issues. If you don't roll back, then it's more stable, but the performance is lower. Restoration of democracy in Andr Australasia. The Australasian Confederation has been under the authoritarian rule of Governor General William Birdwood since the British invocation of the emergency protocols in 1924, considered by many in the nation to have been a heavy-handed response to the Melbourne Common Syndicalist uprising. Birdwood finally relented uh, to calls for an open election, leading to the surprise result of Earl Page's country party achieving a minority government in the Canberra Parliament. Page is expected to have a tough time ahead of him, with labour unrest on the rise and calls for a revocation of Birdwood's more egregious restrictions on personal liberty. Uh, can you ally the Ottoman Empire? Yes, I think so. Although that will take its own focus tree, obviously. Alright, so we have got the equipment production. I think that at this point we need to do economic affairs to start to uh, reverse... Some of the issues here. Oh, that's Ploven and Macedonia. Hang on. Ploven is the one I was building it in, so we reduce that by one.
Huzzah! Reduce you by two. So Plovin is going to get built up really quickly. That's good. So yeah, we're going to go industrialization this time. I want to try it instead. Huzzah! Posnik gifting the subs. Thank you so much, buddy. Cheers. And welcome to the Maudlings, Drunk Lord and Isdar. Huzzah, huzzah, huzzah. Right, the downturn of the German economy, followed by the huzzah of the Berlin Stock Exchange, has affected many nations within Europe. Unfortunately, we have not been able to weather the storm and have been hit just as bad as many other nations. If we are to make a full recovery, we must take strength steps. Huzzah! To strengthen our economy. <laughs> Man, you are going crazy, Mammoth Sasquatch. Thank you, and welcome. And thank you, Poznik. Amazing of you. Thank you. And Rotzilla, thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the Maudlings. Yeah, everyone who can uh, show their appreciation to Poznik right now. Very much appreciate it. Thank you. Poznik's in the new Santa. Yeah, possibly. Maneuvers in the Carpathians. The Treaty of Bucharest in 1918 officially ended the Welsh Krieg for Romania. But at what cost? Romania was now dominated by German and Austrian industries. Most of her coastline was annexed by Bulgaria, and the Carpathian Mountains, separating Romania from Hungary, huzzah, were put under former Austro-Hungarian control. The humiliation Romania endured resulted in it devolving into a national populist dictatorship led by the Conducator Corn Cornelio Codero. Man, that's such a tongue twister. Conducator Cornelio Codero. Codero and his Iron Guard set out to restore Romania to what they say it should have been, a titan of the Balkans. No, that's me. Their first major move in large-scale military exercise, seemingly in preparation to seize the Carpathians, and perhaps the lands beyond. And another one. Welcome, Kitsukami, to the Maudlings. And thank you, Poznik. You are awesome. Didn't know you could gift subs. Yeah, you can. And it's really, really cool. <laughs> the new death to Quarty. I haven't seen him around here for a while, actually. He still um, refreshes his subscriptions, but I haven't seen him, like, in chat. Yeah, exactly. And the Posnik sound, clause sounds... Oh, Posnik clause. You, you spell clause as in a clause in a contract. It's like the Posnik clause? Okay. Uh, sounds like some kind of treaty clause in the molotov Ribbentrop Act. Yeah, let's see what you mean now. Dominion of Canada and Emirate of Afghanistan signed away peace, and then all of the other peace deals between the minions... And how are we doing with the focus? Because the focuses are now sped up. This is only a 35 instead of a 70 day. The first international congress representatives from numerous syndicalist and socialist nations have gathered in Paris today in what might just be the defining moment in the history of the ideologies. And the papal conclave. Catholic faithful in Rome breathed a sigh of relief as the Sistine Chapel's chimney billowed forth white smoke, signifying the election of a new pope. Eugenio Cardinal Pacelli, now known as Pope Pius the Twelfth, that's the same as last time. He's the uber religious pope, which seems like a weird thing to say. Wow, the pope is religious. Who would have known? You don't have the wrangle of Moticon. No, you need to be a higher tier uh, sub for that. So the um, five dollar tier is the uh, Mordred Viking logo, which is the Viking. Then the mid tier is the uh, armored go kart, and then the top tier is Wrangle. But once I become a partner, I'll be making those three freely available because I think they should be. But there should also be rewards for the people who pledge more. So I'll need to think exactly how how to do that. But I'm still a ways away from being a partner, so won't be for a while. There you go. That's the one you get. Economic affairs complete. So now we can go and adopt industrialization now. <laughs> Sergey! Another five if you go communist. That's not very communist of you, trying to bra bribe the officials. Sergey, this isn't the Scotland game where I was bribing everything and everyone. Um, right, so we're going industrialization. To end Black Monday, we need one of the following. We need to complete the entire tree, which does include those three, but we'll do those last. Um, so we're going to go industrialization. Then I think we're going to go down the economic growth so we can get the building slots and the effect reduced. And then we'll go and do the other ones. Probably actually ending with these two. 
Because that one will piss Germany off, unfortunately. Plus, I still want to get the tank research and the mountain and infantry at some point, but we really ought to get rid of Black Monday as quickly as possible. We must turn towards the industrialization of Bulgaria during these chaotic times. While agrarianism is indeed a big part of our nation, the times are changing, and nations around the world are becoming more reliant on factories rather than farms. While this may displease a large portion of our population, industrialization is a necessary measure that must be undertaken. Electronic engineering is done. So let's get mechanical computing. Right, sure, she's the Russian way. <laughs> Does Bulgaria have submarines to name your non-subs? Yes, but I'm not going to. It took way too long last time. Sorry. So if you want to see your name appearing, then you, you'll have to be a sub or a uh, patron. Although what I should have done between sessions is update my uh, sub list. Um, yeah, I'll do that. While we're just waiting for things to tick over anyway. Oh, subscription.